Does this look familiar? No, don't lie. Yes, it does look familiar. Everyone does it. I've had it happen to my levels before, a long time ago. Um, you've got a hole in your skybox, probably. In this tutorial, I will be going through all the reasons that this happens. I will be going through the fixes and ways to avoid doing it in future. Enjoy the video. I get asked this about three or four times a day. Why is my water not working? Why does my level not load? Blah, blah, blah. And most of the time, the problem is that there is a leak, a hole in your level, it, which means that things in the level can get out into the nothingness. Now, it doesn't matter how small the hole is, if there's a hole, then it will happen. To find this hole, it, you go up to map and click load point file. Once you've compiled the level, it will find one of the problem areas and it will show it when you click this. Yes. And there you see this big red line appears in your level. And if you follow it, hey look, there's the hole. This is where your map is escaping out into the nothingness. So you fix that and it should work. Or at least there will be one less problem with your level. You compile it again, you load the point file. If there's still a point file there, it means that you've got another error in your level. Once they're all fixed, it'll probably work. So in short, make sure that things inside your level can't go outside your level because you don't want that. How can you avoid this? This is the bit that you need to pay attention to because it'll save you hours. Just imagine spending three or four days making a map, massive city, you try to compile it, error. There's an error somewhere in the map. Where is it? It could take you hours to find it. You might just be better off starting the level again. First thing, align to the grid. Now, to align to the grid, you can change the grid scale by clicking the plus and minus buttons at the top here and here, or you can press the button next to P on your keyboard. I recommend starting off your level with a 64 by 64 grid. Once you do that, there will be no small holes in your level. So if you do accidentally not align it to the grid properly, oh look, I can see a hole and it's really obvious to see because it's 64 wide. So yeah, make a nice big grid size so everything's nice and neat. Second thing, don't carve. And people, people go, well, you know, if I do it right, is it all right to carve? And the answer might be yes, but no, don't carve. Because if you're asking whether or not it's right to car carve, it's not. Even if you don't think it's right, it isn't right. Carving is bad. If you want to make a corridor, don't just get a block, make another block through it and go up to, where is it, tools. And See, I don't even know where it is because I don't ever do it. Carve. Because once you've carved it, you might think, hey, look, that's really good. Now I've got a hole in my level for people to walk through. But no, it's messy. It's messy. Do it the long way. Do it the way that works because um, otherwise there will be problems. So yeah, one, align to grid. Two, don't carve. And three, if you really want to make sure that there's no hole in your skybox, you can do it the way that I recommend you doing. It's not the best way to make a skybox, but it's the least problematic. And so that's why I tend to say it, because it saves me a bit of time. So make a big block around your level, nothing outside it. If there's something outside it, it won't work. Once you've made it, Make it hollow, control H. I'm going to make it minus 32, because that means it hollows outwards. So everything inside that box is now still in the box. There, there is no hole in this sky box. I'm not going to touch the sky box now. I'm not going to resize it. I'm, if I want to change the size of it, I delete it and do it again, but bigger. So yeah, align to grid, don't carve, and do the skybox this way, and you shouldn't have a problem with that. You can put blocks outside the grid, but don't put people or entities, because that won't work. I know this tutorial is boring, you might already know it, but if you have had problems with this in the past, this is the reason. It's a boring reason, it's a boring answer, but it saves you a lot of time. In fact, I'm going to show you a level that I had to look at earlier. Uh, this person's been making a map for about a week. The map is really complicated. It's, it would be good if there wasn't a problem in it. 
Here is the level. Very complicated. It looks great. I mean, you know. The problem is, when someone said, oh, I have a problem with it. Let's try and find the room. Yeah, here's the room. Oh, no, it isn't. Ah, it's too big. Here's the room. Someone said, oh, this level doesn't work. I clicked on a wall, and to my horror, the whole thing lit up, which means that they have made a big block. They've carved it out hollow. They've made another carve for the ground. They've made another one for the door. And I... Right, this is the reason that you don't carve. Look up here. Can you see that? There's a hole between the wall and the ceiling. It's a very small hole, but it's still a hole. And that is why you don't carve. Also, if you look at the ground, you'll notice that there are about three layers to the ground. It's just so messy. That is why you don't carve. If you had made this level properly, I used a 64 sti size block and everything. It would have been fine. But as it is, it's so messy. I just look at that and think, you know, you can fix the level with enough time, but do you really want to? It's better just to start again from scratch, start from something that you know works and slowly build on it. And every time you make a new room, add something to the level, compile it and see what it's like. People say the compile time gets too long, it gets boring to do that. Well, I'd suggest splitting up your level into bits, just making one bit at a time and then placing it all together at the end. I can't, I can't stress this enough. You've got to make the level properly. There are no shortcuts to making levels because if you try and make a shortcut, it'll take you longer in the long term because you'll have to try and find problems which will take hours and hours to find. And uh, it makes me feel sick. So yeah, don't carve. Don't, um, well, make sure you snap to the grid and uh, make sure that there's a big skybox around your level just in case. There you go, the most boring tutorial ever.